Hey guys. All right, it's been a while. I got a new challenge. I'm going to create a hood that is bloody dirty and will be worn around a clown scarecrow mask. So exactly what I'm about to do this time. So um, thanks for the challenge. And I got my two day old cold, mm, old coffee. Mm, it's dark, rich, and yummy. So first we're going to need life cast. 23 and a quarter around the head, but we need a little extra space in the back. We should probably add a little around the head, especially to the back here. Measurement from the center of the top of the head down to here, because I asked for that, because I need to see where that where that hood starts hitting the neck. 12 and a half from the top of the center of his head. I need to really think about that the shoulders are going to come in here. Um, this is extra long, really. So I may build this out a little bit just to give me an idea of, oh yeah, this this has some shoulders here. So maybe let's do that. With, I'm actually going to do that with just some old old clothes I have laying around. Um, usually I would build out with some foam, but I've got some old clothes, rags, and stuff. I'm going to try that. I kind of like it because it'll wrap around a little bit. Maybe be a little more organic. Layers of foam. Okay, that might be a little strong right now, but I'm going to take it down. I'll probably change out Now, something else we need to make sure that we got right is the measurement on this head. So we're going to uh, go ahead and add some bubble wrap here. too long in that one way. Like a flat baby head. Okay, so uh, I got it taped up pretty good, filled out the back of the head, gave him some shoulders and a neck so I can see how everything falls. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put on the burlap and kind of see how this is gonna work. So for that, I'm going to need some burlap. Okay, so I've been messing with this for a little bit, and I think I might have come up with an idea of how to work with this. Since I am just creating a hood, I'm going to go find a cheap hoodie with a drawstring in it, and I'm going to use that as my under part, and then I'm going to attach this to that, and then I'm going to proceed to trim it down from there. So hopefully you'll actually be able to take the hoodie drawstring Pull it tight, maybe, around your face. So, we'll see, we'll see. I think that'll work.
incredibly itchy, right? So I've got a hoodie built inside here so you can use the zipper and you can tighten the strings. Let me show you. So it goes on like that. Zip it up. And I've got these strings here. 